Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this angular video tutorial we will learn that how we can put the validation on a reactive form. In the last video we will see what is the reactive form, how we can made it and everything. Alright. So if you just want to go in the deep dive with the reactive form from the basic, then you can watch previous video. Link is given in the description box. Otherwise, I will try to tell everything about the basics of uh, reactive form as well as the validation in the, this video also so now let's see the points of the video so these are the points of so for, first of all we have to import the reactive form module in the upload module.ts file then we have to make html form which is i already made actually so that we can just save the time which is a very basic html form with the two fields and a form and a submit button all right so i hope there is no confusion if you just want to see that you can even pause the video all right just want to just read out this form all right so after that we will define the form group and we will get the value from the form to the ts file and uh, at the last we will apply the validations all right so now let's start with the first point so first of all let's open the app dot module dot ts file and here let's import something from uh, at the rate angular and uh, it will be forms and f uh, let's say get here reactive form module right and we can just paste it here and now after pasting it here we can uh, the work of for this one is uh, this file has been done so we can just close it simply and now let's uh, just go inside the app.component.ts file and here we have to import the three things one is the form control form group and the validations all right so just import something from the angular and forms let's uh, just get a form control then we can just get a form group Alright, and at the last, we also load, uh, let's just get the form validations also, validators. Okay, so now let's define a form group, and form group should be the name of the form. Alright, so let's define the form name also. And uh, for the defining the form name, let's use the property binding with the form group. Alright, so just use here form group. And here we can define the form name. Let's say my form name is login form, like this. All right. And now in this form, we can uh, just assign a form group. So we can just write here new form group. All right. And this is basically a function. It can just uh, take some parameters with the form form control control name. So let's define the form control name also. So just write here form control name and it can be like email oh, where we are writing uh, email like this. All right. And uh, let's define the same thing for the password also. So just copy from here to paste here. All right. So I can just define your password like this. So the keys name can be like email and they will be like uh, new form control and the default value can be blank and after the comma I can define the password also like this okay so let's say we just want to put the validation for required that email field is required all right so we can just put here validators dot required all right simply like this so when we just apply it now let's check out the form what we are getting it you will see that uh, let's what we are getting in this form we are getting this form is invalid here why because we are uh, this form is required if I'm just going to type something like test then let's say test one two three or whatever then you will see this now form is valid because the form is required it cannot be blank and now there is some values all right so if I'm just going to put it uh, blank again then you will see this is the invalid form all right so let's make a validation for it for the N ng invalid so first of all let's define the style for them so just define the input 
dot ng invalid and uh, let's define the border left can be 5 pixel solid and red all right so now let's take the look what we are getting here as you can see that this field is red here so the same thing we can also define here a uh, green field uh, valid uh, color for the valid also so let's define a uh, ng valid with the green color all right so now as you know that on the password we did not provide any validation that's why this is uh, green by default and this is valid so now let's see i just want to tell that this field uh, is invalid with the red color text here so how can i do that for that we just have to uh, take uh, tell that uh, this field is invalid for that let's make a function and get the email value uh, in a property all right so just choose here get email and this can be a function and it will be gonna return this dot login form dot get email all right and now it can tell that is it valid or not with the email property so now let's come back to here and let's define a span with the span you can just write here email is not valid email is required for now required we can just put here like this and here we can just put here star ng if email dot invalid all right if this is invalid then we can just show it so now let's see what we are getting here as you can see that we are able to get that email is invalid so let's make it the red color so that it will look like more realistic so just put here uh, dot error class this and color can be red and here we can just apply the class on this uh, span like uh, error now this is in the red color but what if we actually want that now let's see that how it's actually working if i'm just going to put here some value then this is uh, and will be going to hide and whenever the field is blank the email is required so what I actually want the f this error should be only visible when I am just going to hit in this text box by default there should be no error all right for that we can just make a very small change here we can just write here and email dot touched touched means if this email field is touched uh, and this is invalid then we have to just show this uh, this error now you can see that this is uh, showing here if i'm just going to refresh it there is no error if i'm just going to enter in this field and just come out then we are able to see this error all right so if i'm just going to remove the text again we have an invalid invalid error so thanks for watching this video in the upcoming video we will see that how we can put the min max and numeric alphabetic web kind of validation so stay tuned tuned with us and let's catch up in the next video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care